Good morning from beautiful Cappadocia, Turkey. Um, I woke up for sunrise uh, to watch the hot air balloons come up and it was one of the most spectacular views that I've ever seen in my life. It's a little bit chilly out here this morning, but uh, the views are breathtaking. Uh, this is one of the most gorgeous places that I've ever visited. Um, I just had to document here. I took about, you know, 300 pictures already so far. So I just arrived in Cappadocia and um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go explore the city today, go see what we can find. Um, and looking by this landscape, I think we're gonna be able to find a lot of good shots and uh, a lot of beautiful nature. A lot of these uh, fairy chimneys that you can see down here. Uh, basically, we're just gonna go explore and that's what this video is gonna be about today, exploring Cappadocia. So yeah, good morning. And uh, this is what you get when you visit Cappadocia. Okay, welcome back. Uh, just got, uh, went home um, after I took pictures of the balloons this morning. Um, and they had uh, um, breakfast waiting for me. Such a nice place. Um, and it's your typical Turkish breakfast with, I mean, you name it, it's on it. Way more food than you could ever eat. And um, so I did that. And now I'm just kind of walking the streets trying to make my way down to um, some of the sightseeing places here. But everywhere, um, as you walk the roads here, there's these kind of like parking lots, I'm sure, um, or lookout points. And you just have just amazing views like this all over the place. Um, I'm gonna continue emphasizing throughout this entire video what a beautiful city this is. Um, everything is pretty much like, cobblestone streets I don't know if it's cobblestone but it's streets that are made of stone <laughs> um, and all these are just like hotels and cafes around here you can definitely tell it's a, a very big tourist place now where this is like the main business um, for most of these people they're all shop owners and so um, there tons of cafes, obviously it's Turkey, so <laughs> there's going to be cafes all over the place. And then see every, every <laughs> road I come down, there's a, ruins like this, I mean it's, I hate to be overly dramatic here, but it's probably the most impressive city that I've ever seen in my life. Um, this city of Cappadocia is pretty much the reason that I wanted to start traveling full-time anyway. I've seen pictures of Cappadocia online, and um, I said I have to visit that place. And then I looked in to start you know, travel full-time, and Cappadocia was definitely a place that I was going to visit. And now that I'm here, it's just, it's surreal. Um, I, I hate when people say this, but the photos don't give it justice. I'm trying to give this justice as much as I can. I'll show a lot of footage in this video. I know I'm gonna, I'm talking a lot now, but this video is gonna be more of just showing you um, Cappadocia. Um, just showing you breathtaking views like this. This is all natural. Um, and then the sun came up over that mountain this morning, as you guys saw in the footage there. Um, 
it's just unbelievable and that's what this video is going to be is basically me just coming back on in different places telling you how unbelievable Cappadocia is um, so yeah I'm going to keep trekking down I'm at about halfway up the hill uh, you can see behind me the castle is up over there um, I live on the other side of the castle so I'm about halfway down the hill and this is what I'm going to see today so let's go Alright, I finally made it down to the bottom. Um, I'm in an area here in Cappadocia called the Red Rose Valley. Um, it gets that name probably because, you know, the obvious. Uh, you can see the, the rose color uh, of the, the rocks um, down here. What's really interesting though is, um, beautiful rather, is that it, it's here in the fall time. so. The contrast between the, the red and the white rocks of the Red Rose Valley here. And then you have these beautiful trees behind me that are changing colors here. So I'm making this video in, when is this? Just in October here, uh, about the middle of October, early October. And um, I would say this is like peak season when it comes to the changing of the colors here. Uh, you could just, I mean, look at this. I mean, with that as a backdrop, and, and you got mountains like this, and then you have the the trees changing colors. It's just, just gorgeous. But yeah, this is uh, this is Red Rose uh, Valley. So if you ever uh, if you ever decide to hike, it's all the way down at the bottom. You can see kind of everything goes along <clears throat> where the castle is there. So it's directly in front of the castle. You kind of make your way all the way down, and then there's a path that leads all throughout this valley and then there is separate paths where you can go in the the valley itself so red rose valley definitely check it out All right, well, we are back now in a different valley. This one's called Pigeon Valley. It's kind of its nickname it was given. Um, as you can see, all these little uh, cutouts, these are like man-made cutouts. Even up here, you can see all those holes in there. Um, basically, it's like very soft volcanic rock here. And uh, a long time ago, what they used to do is carve out these rocks um, as pigeon houses. Um, so pigeons would come in and li live here. I mean, you could just see how many there are. Um, so we're walking kind of through a foresty area right now. It's not as exposed. But so anyway, so they would cut out these um, little holes for the pigeons to live in. So this way, all the pigeons would gather in this area. And um, so back in the day, using pigeon poop basically was um, very good for fertilizer. So farming here uh, was very big and that's how people had to live off the land was through farming. And so, um, yeah, you can see more here. That's just beautiful. All those uh, cutouts in there and you can even see there is still pigeons living in there now. So yeah, basically they carved them out, let the pigeons live in there and then the pigeons would just live in this whole area and basically poop all over the place. 
and um, they would either grow their crops in this area or collect the poop and uh, use it as fertilizer on their farm. So that's why it's Pigeon Valley. Uh, what I really like about it, because we're going into like a foresty area now, is like I mentioned earlier is, um, I didn't realize that the fall colors were gonna be so good out here right now. On uh, this particular forest, they've kind of all fell already for the most part, uh, but you can still see it. But um, I knew Cappadocia was gonna be beautiful. I really did, but I, I definitely wasn't anticipating um, how beautiful the changing of the, the leaves were gonna be here. I, I just thought it was, from the pictures I seen, I thought it was more um, rocky land and um, I wouldn't say desert, just more like mountainous region. And um, I never thought that there would be this much uh, wildlife or yeah, wildlife. There's a lot of birds here, but this much nature, I should say here. Um, and it just really adds to how beautiful these, these caves are. And um, like the fairy chimneys, like I was talking about earlier this morning, uh, there are these natural um, cone shaped rock formations here uh, and they're kind of nicknamed fairy chimneys uh, but just to see all these formations here and uh, just the fall colors really add to it it's, it's spectacular <laughs> All right, we are just coming to the end here of Pigeon Valley. Um, it was beautiful. I mean, you could see that in, in the footage that I showed here. Um, but how much, <laughs> I was thinking how much work actually had to go into all that. I mean, look at somebody had to walk all the way up there and carve these things out. Um, talk about dedication to farming. Um, to go up there and just to dig all these out just to give pigeons a home and so they would poop all over the place so it's just uh kind of one takeaway that i'm leaving here with now is how much work went into this and I, i'm just wondering if there's any real strategic planning as to you know like why did they put them there um was it easy because it doesn't look easy it looks like they had to climb pretty high. You can still see there's birds living in there now, uh, like I was saying earlier. But yeah, the, this is Pigeon Valley. So I'm going to get out of here and then uh, go check out more of the city of Cappadocia. And if you're wondering where Pigeon Valley is in regards to where I was earlier, so the castle is straight that way. Um, so we're at the south end of the castle now, the southern part of Cappadocia or this part of um, the tourist area, I should say. Um, so just at the southern part uh, where I was before, you could see by the by the footage, I was more at the, the eastern part um, of the castle. So the castle is what I'm using in this particular area as like my, um, you know, central location. And I'm just kind of walking the valleys all around the castle. And then... Um, I'm going to try getting to the castle. I'm not sure if I'm going to go tomorrow morning or if I'm going to go for sunset tonight or maybe in the afternoon here anyway. But um, but yeah, Pigeon Valley is beautiful. Uh, I highly recommend coming in uh, in uh, or October when I'm here. Maybe like a week ago would have been good, but I think it's still peaking right now. So fall colors are beautiful here. The temperature is beautiful. It was really cold out this morning not really cold i mean but cold enough to where you could have wore a jacket and a hat um it was pretty cold but now it's you know it's like 11 o'clock in the morning noon right around there 
and I'm hot. I'm sweating walking around, but it's comfortable. It's like a cool fall temperature here, but it's warm. Um, you could be wearing shorts on a day like today. So uh, temperature is perfect. Conditions are beautiful and it's Cappadocia. So I, everything here is beautiful so far. All right, well, I'm back on the, uh, the other section of the Pigeon Valley Trail. Um, as I'm walking to the open air museum, I believe this is the trail to get there. So it's actually <laughs> right where I was this morning for the Rose Red Valley uh, Trail. So I kind of backtracked a little bit and came back to this area, but this trail veers off from um, the Rose Red Trail. So. Um, I haven't been down here yet, and it's just spectacular. I stopped at a cafe along the way. Uh, local Turkish man, very nice guy. Um, just off a off a beaten path type of cafe. Probably shouldn't be talking right now because this is sketchy trail. But anyway, so. Um, if hiking is your thing, there is so much hiking here. Everywhere you can go is hiking. Um, when you first get here, um, or even maybe before you get here, you might feel uh, compelled to go with a tour. Um, and I know as soon as I got here, everybody is talking about tours. Take the tour, you know, group tours, individual tours. Um, and you can do that. It's not a bad idea, but... Um, a lot of the people I see are more like hikers, and that's kind of what I am. I, I mean, if you watched any of my vlogs before, that's really all I do is just hike around, whether it's in cities or um, out in nature. So um, I would recommend, before you actually book anything, just to kind of um, take a shot on your own. Um, it's really easy to get by. Uh, the trails are even on Google Maps, so it's really easy to um, figure out where you're going. Not only that, um, it, it's kind of intermediate trails, as you can see here. Um, but then again, I see young kids walking these. I haven't seen too many real older people walking these. Um, and by older people, I mean 70s, 80s. I mean, I think if you're in decent shape, this wouldn't be any problem, but just make sure that you are in good shape so yeah it's beautiful so far Um, one thing I want to add to that as far as it being safe here as far as hiking um, when I stopped at the cafe earlier uh, there was like security and uh, or police officers or something and they hike these trails so say you do get lost I don't think you can get lost but say you do or something happens to you you trip fall bruise an ankle sprain an ankle whatever um, there's plenty of people walking these trails. I've seen plenty of people already. And not only that, like I said, the police officers are here as well. So um, so there's that. Don't just think you're out in the middle of nowhere. That's why you should take a tour. Um, 
I personally like hiking by myself, going at my own pace instead of with a group. I would feel guilty to have to go along with them. Um, I like to take my time with photos and everything too. Like, <laughs> look at this view. I mean, my goodness. But anyway, so this is um, kind of the northeastern part of the, the Pigeon Trail, more eastern part of the Pigeon Trail, uh, Pigeon Valley Trail. Um, and from what I understand, if you were to take that south part where I was earlier, you can walk the entire valley. I just stopped because it started getting muddy and everything. Uh, the terrain is nothing like what it is here. This is more like rocky and and nice trail but where i ended off um where i was earlier walking through that foresty area i uh, just started getting really mucky and watery so i turned around i walked a long way anyway i just figured that was it but now i'm finding out that um it actually runs this whole valley which makes sense um this whole area and from what i understand it, this is going to turn into the open air museum so I'm going to find that out right now. So um, once again, that's just what I want to talk about as far as if you feel compelled to take a tour, do so. If you like being with other people, meeting other people, that's fine too. But I'm just saying that it's, Cappadocia is just fine to explore by yourself. In fact, I see so many hikers out here, just like me, just solo hikers. And um, so yeah, uh, don't feel like you have to take a tour. I think it's it's nice to just kind of tour around these trails by yourself. Now I'm gonna take some pictures. All right, we are now at the Open Air Museum here. Um, just got here, it costs about 100 Turkish lira to get in. Um, basically that trail, um, the Pigeon Valley Trail did make it all the way here, but you do have to go through the city to get here from the Pigeon Valley Trail. So if you are taking that trail, um, just be prepared to know that it's going to bring you into like the old town and by the old town uh, that I mean that's where you get all the tours that's where you rent your uh, hot air balloon um, four-wheelers scooters whatever the case may be everything is in the old town you just have to walk through it um, so here at the open air museum it's basically um, a lot of these structures again uh, the, the the fairy um, chimneys as they call them and there's also a lot of um, Christian history here dating back to like the, the third century or the end of the second century going all the way to like the fourth century. So um, I think they call it like the land of the seven churches or something like that. So there's a lot of Christian history as well. I'm here more for the landscape and to check things like that out. Um, I, I will definitely look into the history, but what I'm really interested in is, you know, the formations of the rocks and everything else like that. So. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take this tour today and I'll show you a little bit more about it. Okay, well, that was interesting. 
um, most of those caves that you go in, you're not allowed to video or take pictures. So unfortunately I can't show you much of the insides, but I, all I can really show you is what's going on on the outsides and the structures. Like I said, that's basically why I'm here anyway. I'm just um, kind of looking more at the uh, formations of the rocks and how they're actually cut out. Um, how the, the church and the Christianity kind of came in and, and carved all these stones. As far as on the inside, there are, um, you know, like paintings and murals and everything, very Christian-like things. But like I said, I couldn't take pictures or video of any of that. But it's a very beautiful place. So if you have a chance to come here, it's definitely worth checking out. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little tour today. Um, it's not going to be quite over yet. I'll get some more footage as I'm leaving. But um, actually, yeah, I am, I am leaving now. This is, I'm on my way out. So um, thanks for watching today. I got to see a little bit of the valleys and uh, the museum here. So I'm glad you watched till the end. And once again, thanks for supporting me. Have a good day.